Hi, thanks for watching Data Source TV. In this video, we're going to go over the Data Validation Option, or DVO as it's called from Informatica. What is DVO? It's an automated ETL testing tool. Uh, it's the first one Informatica's uh, released. Before, when you did a lot of ETL uh, QA and testing, you would have to do a lot of manual SQL scripts and connect to each database and put it into an Excel spreadsheet and do some comparing that way. Uh, with this tool, you'll be able to connect to different databases and, and pull uh, the actual data and compare the actual data from each of the tables. Um, this tool also supports SQL views and lookups. What SQL views are is a lot of times when you pull from a production system you're not just uh, pulling the direct data, sometimes you're manipulating the data a little bit such as uppercase, uh, some columns, that kind of stuff. So you can actually write SQL views which is basically a SQL override as uh, most of us know in Power Center. And you also have uh, something called lookups. So a lot of times when you pull from a production system and go to your data warehouse, your staging area, your, um, and then eventually go from staging to your dimensions or facts, you're actually uh, changing the data a little bit. So you're doing lookups so in, and taking, instead of a natural key from a production system all the way to a primary key in a warehouse, you're creating a surrogate key and then possibly splitting that data up and having some lookup tables. For instance, like a store table or something like that. So you'll be able to uh, create a lookup. Uh, to be able to handle that third that third entity uh, lookup. Um, also, DVO supports uh, has some command line utilities, which is really nice when it comes to automated testing. Um, a good example is uh, I'm in the uh, PDF for the user guide, and they have these are that goes over the different kind of command tasks here. One of them is run test command. So you actually run the test. And you can set this up on a cron tab or a schedule through Informatica workflow, and um, you can actually have it email. So once it's done, it'll email to whoever you want uh, based upon a, a success or failure, and it'll send you a link to the actual test, which is pretty nice. So you can set up automated testing where if something gets ran even in production, and then a test runs to make sure that that data is correct. So if you have sensitive data or important data that you're pulling from prod, put it into uh, a table to, for a third-party company or something like that, you can actually have a test run before that gets sent out. And then we're going to go to a quick demo. So here's the actual DVO tool. It's Eclipse based. Uh, looks familiar if you uh, if you've used the developer tool in nine. Um, I'm assuming this is going to get rolled into the developer tool here pretty soon. Um, the way DVO works is it just uses the Power Center engine for uh, to collect all of its data and do its comparisons. So it's you don't come in here and create sources and targets. You come in here and connect to a repository, and that repository has uh, under your folders has your sources and targets and your uh, database connections. So uh, here I'm connected to something called DSC um, Demo Rep, which is our in our uh, data source uh, Informatica lab. Um, we the way it works is when you connect to a repository, that user you're connecting with uh, needs to have read-only access to these um, folders. So right now um, you come in here and you can you right mouse click on a repository and you can refresh. Um, everything in the repository, just the connections, the folder list, or the sources and targets. So I've just gone in here in, in my DVO demo QA, I've just refreshed my sources and targets, and I have a couple different tables in here. Uh, we're going to actually look at uh, EMP dev and EMP prod. Um, same database, just for our test, we're going to compare the two tables together. Um, here's a SQL views I was just talking about before. This is where you actually create a SQL view and so you name it, you add a table in here, and you're actually going to write the SQL statement. So it's similar to a SQL override if you've used that in uh, Power Center. And there's also lookup views in here as well. I don't think we'll get to that yet uh, in this demo. This is just going to be a quick demo comparing two tables together. So down here is you have the folders, uh, similar to the developer tool and the Power Center. You have folders. Uh, from here, I just have a default folder. So the different things I can do in here is add, add a table pair. You can actually add a single table. So let's say you wanted to, you're pulling a table from point A to point B, and you want to make sure that table has a certain amount of rows in it. You can actually create a single table pair, uh, a single table test that says if the count is greater than 10,000, um, then everything's okay. If not, then fail the test. So we're going to create a table pair. Um, what we have here is we have your A and your B side. So it's your, what are you comparing to? So if you hit browse, it's going to go in and look at all your sources and targets you have in over here. Well, I've only pulled in my DVO demo, so it's only going to give me uh, my sources and targets out of here. So as you type, it'll actually filter down what you're looking for. So I'm going to have my uh, emp dev as my table A, and I'm going to go in here and look for my prod. 
So now I have two tables that I'm going to compare against each other. Uh, I'm going to, since it's Oracle, and my default schema is DVO, uh, it's something else. But actually, uh, the, these tables live in the DVO schema. You can actually write where clauses here. So let's say you're pulling from your production system, and this is the employee table, and you only want to pull, you're only pulling eastern uh, part of the, the country uh, employees. This is where you can actually put a where clause where, you know, the, the region, you know, equals west or something like that. And this is all Informatica expression based. So it's the same kind of language you're going to use in expression you're going to use in this entire tool because it uses Power Center on the back end. So there's some different options in here. We're going to go down here and, and tell it how to join these two tables together. And when you click on this little drop down, it lists all the different columns in that table because it pulls it again from Power Center. So we're going to click on EMPNO in both of these tables because that's how we're going to join these two tables together. And if you notice here, it has an expression option. So I could actually come in here and say upper K, you know, upper the uh, um, last name or something like that. So this is just full uh, informatic expressions if you wanted to add it in there. So this is just going to be a simple test between these two tables. So as I click on that, it's going to add a, a test down here, and that's the name of the test. Right now, I don't have any test conditions. So either I can go add test conditions myself, or they actually have a generate value test options in here. If I click that, it's going to ask me to say, hey, nine tests are going to be added to this, this, uh, uh, to this uh, table pair test we're going to do. So as you can see, it adds in uh, count rows. So it's going to count the rows for both of these tables, compare those together, and then it's just going to grab every single one of these columns and compare them together. It also does an outer join for the EMPNO because that's the primary key. So there might be an EMPNO that's in B and that's not an A and, and uh, vice versa. So that's all I have to do. I can go in here and I can add more tests, but we're going to go ahead and run the table pair test. And as you can see, the icon changes here. If you hold your mouse over while it's running, it says installing. Now it's going to switch to this little running tab right here. So if I actually switch over, it's finished already, but if I switch over to a workflow monitor, there's a folder in here called DVO that actually creates a workflow and creates a mapping and a session and runs it. So as you can see, you can actually look into the mapping and see what it's doing. It creates a couple different source qualifiers, which is my two tables. It pulls 14 rows out of each one and goes through a bunch of different target tables that it's putting test information into. So it's come back and it tells you that the green obviously is a is a pass, so it pulled in 14 rows. So if I click on each of these tests up here, it tells me the table A and table B, and they had 14, uh, the count was 14, so that passed. And same thing with EMPNO, it had the exact same uh, keys in both sides. But here it says red for the uh, employee name. So it actually tells you what the data is here. So for the EMPNO 7902, on the table A, which is our dev table, had Ford, and then result B, which is our uh, our prod table, had Chevy. So it flags this for you and says, hey, this is there's something wrong here. This is a bad record. So it counted for each one of these other ones. They all passed. So if I go in and look at my SQL tool, I'm going to let's see here, go and dev. So if you look down here, if we go back to the test, this one right here, 7902. 7902 was the e-name of Chevy, and if I look in my prod, it's Ford, 7902 Ford. So it caught that change. That difference in data right there, it, it tells me that. So now that's just a quick test of that. So in addition to this, I can right mouse click on this test and click on report. So what that's going to do, it's going to bring up some report parameters. So I want to just do my table pair. My user is just my current user I'm in right now. My table pair. So if I had a bunch of other table pairs, I could run a whole bunch of reports if I wanted to. But I just want this table pair. And the result type is all, just in case I just wanted pass or failures. I could do run dates as well. And then uh, demo test. So if I click on run, let me bring over my, my browser here. Get it to play nice. So let's go ahead and run that, and it brings up a browser, and it shows me my report. So here's my table pair summary. It kind of tells me who my user is, 
my uh, folder name, my table pairs, tells me what table pairs are, the run date, and then it kind of goes through the different tests. So if I had a bunch of different tests, it would tell me if I passed or failed. So here's an actual failure right here. So this is kind of an overview. So I got 89%, which is, uh, in my book, is still still an A. So uh, the other thing you could do here is um, you could talk talk about table of contents and you can print out. So you can actually print to a PDF or just the HTML page. So if I print to a PDF, it'll just print out to um, whatever local PDF view you have. So it's kind of nice for documentation purposes. So it gives you the exact what I was looking at here. So these can go with your different um, QA testing. Uh, besides that, you can come in here and do some more tests. So instead of generating the test, I can come in here and add a uh, a different test. So let's say I wanted, let's see here, you have different kind of tests here, min, max. If, say we wanted the minimum of the EMPNO, uh, the minimum of EMPNO in each table um, to equal each other. So I wanted to make sure, you know, the minimum of the EMPNO or uh, a job ID or something like that. So there's a bunch of different kind of tests you could do. Outer joins value test. Uh, as you can see in here, this is these expressions are very similar to Power Center as well. So that's DVO uh, in a nutshell. Um, it's pretty easy to use, and uh, the reporting is great, and the command lines are great as well. So you can actually automate your testing. Uh, just let us know if you have any questions on this. Uh, we've we've installed it in many of our clients and know the ins and outs of the tool so far. So thank you.